click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about a recovery technique of the memory allocation section of an operating system implementation that is consistency checking. First we will discuss about all the problems that can occur for the consistency and then we will see there's a consistency checker which is a system program to run for checking the consistency between the system and the ways to implement that consistency checker that can be improved on a system to get the better performance. Files and directories can be stored both in the disk and the main memory. And so precaution must be taken care to ensure that the failure of this file system will not result in any loss of data or any inconsistencies. So we will now discuss about the algorithms or the procedures to not happen this inconsistency in the file system. A system crash can cause inconsistency among all the data and the disk on disk structures that can be prevented by the file pointers and FCB pointers, free FCB block or any directory structures. Now say whenever we are updating a file structure or creating a file, then it requires a number of structures to get modified. All the data blocks are allocated, free FCB counters are updated, the FCB blocks are allocated, the directory structures are modified, and all the free counts of this FCB blocks are decreased. So now, in this midst of the operations that we are performing for creating a file or updating a file, say a system crash occurs. So a data can loss, otherwise the data can be inconsistent. So we need to prevent this type of inconsistency and the loss of data within a system crash. Sometimes the operating system do for the IO performance improvement that caching. Now whenever we are caching data for the system crashes become extremely disastrous. Say for an example, we are changing and consistency for checking and maintaining that part of the file system that is updating a data to the disk. Now in the midst of doing that, a system crash can occur. Now all the writes or updation goes to a cache before it goes to the disk. So now on the way of caching, if the system crashes, then the cache could not be updated to the actual disk. So an inconsistency can occur. In this way, this inconsistency in the system can result from either a system crash or an cache. Now this caching will also help in this improvement of the IO performance, so we cannot just avoid the caching. So we need to take care of this inconsistency that can occur within the system. In addition to this, the bugs in the system implementation, these controllers, even user applications can cause inconsistency between the system. Now we should take care of this inconsistency and check them thoroughly before actually implementing the system. So for checking the consistency of a system, we must first scan all the metadata within a file that should be implemented on the disk and the directory. So for the directory structure that stored in the disk, the actual data, we first map the directory to the disk. Next, we have to perform this scan. Now, unfortunately, this scan takes an hour, a day, and this should be time every time of the system boots. So it will take a more computation time just only for scanning for consistency. Now in the worst scenario, if the system is in a consistent state, then all the scanning for the consistency checking will be wasted for the access times. So there is an alternative approach for checking consistency is checking the metadata and setting it within the file system only. Here, at the first of the metadata updation, the beginning contains a set. Now this bit is set whenever the metadata is in flux. So the operating system set this bit to indicate that the metadata is updating. If all the metadata are updation is complete successfully, then we can clear the bit. 
if still the bit is set then we have to perform some types of consistency checking to need to know that what kind of the inconsistency lies within the system. Consistency checker is a system program such as FCSK in Unix which checks this consistency by checking the bit that is clear or not. If it is clear then no consistency remains there. If it is not clear then some types of consistency are lying in the file system. It compares the data in the directory structure to the data on the disk. If there is some kind of inconsistency, then we must address it during the system checker. Now all the free space manager and the allocation algorithm then checks for this system consistency checker that what type of inconsistency it finds and what are the solution that can be applied to get rid of this inconsistency. Say for an example, a link allocation is used and a link is found from the one data block to their next data block. Now all the links can be reconstructed from this data block and the directory structures can be recreated. Now in contrast, if a directory country in the indexed allocation is lost, then all the data will be in jeopardized situation because the data in the actual disk have no information of one another. So they cannot rearrange between themselves if a directory entry containing the information or a mapping from them to the actual memory is lost. So we must first preserve the operating system that all the reads to the disk are done by the consistency checker. Now whenever a write or a modification is doing in that particular disk, then we must have first to write it to the cache then the cache should be synchronously write the data back to the disk so that if the system crashes between them then the cache can be restored for the old data in the means of updating. Still some kind of inconsistency can occur if the between the cache to the disk data writing the system can crash it. So these are the consistency checking issues on the recovery technique of a particular memory allocation scheme. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.